Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The time is 7.30 on this December 20th. So this meeting of the City Council is hereby called to order. Would you all please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Will the clerk please call the roll? McHale. Here. Bud Max is absent. O'Brien. Here. Veneziano is absent. Bassesi. Here. Reyes. Here. Sunoika. Here. With five present and two absent, there is a quorum this evening. There are four members of the audience. Um, there we are reminded that these proceedings are being recorded for current and future broadcasts over the city's cable television channel, as well as other media platforms. It looks like the first order of business we have to get into this meeting this evening is to approve minutes from a previous meeting. There's only one set of minutes to approve tonight, and that's from the December 6th, 2022 City Council meeting. Is there a motion to approve this set of minutes? So moved. Thank you, Alderman Sonoika. Is there a second? Yep. Thank you, Alderman Bassesi, for the second. Are there any corrections, additions, or deletions that anyone would like to express for this set of minutes? Okay. Seeing none, the question is, shall the minutes be approved? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. The ayes have it. And the minutes are approved. Moving along for the mayor's report, I don't have much to report this evening other than we have the holidays that are upon us. Hanukkah just started. Christmas is five days away, and the new year is quickly approaching. So I just want to wish everyone a safe and happy holiday season. And of course, safe New Year's if you're traveling throughout these times. Are there any ward reports this evening? Okay, without any ward reports, then we will move on to the next section of the agenda, which would be opening the floor to the public. However, there are no signatures on the sign-in sheet, so we'll move on to items pending. We'll start with line item A, ordinance number 22-56 to adopt salary increases for certain employees of the City of Rolling Meadows not subject to collective bargaining. This ordinance, if adopted, would provide a 3% cost of living increase in salary for non-union employees and become effective January 1st, 2023. Is there a motion to adopt this ordinance? So moved. Thank you, Alderman Sonoika. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Alderman O'Brien, for the second. Is there any discussion? Okay. Seeing none, the question is, will the ordinance be adopted? Will the clerk please call the roll? Sunaika. Yes. McHale. Yes. O'Brien. Yes. Bassesi. Yes. Reyes. Yes. With five in favor and none opposed, this ordinance is adopted. Moving on to line item B, ordinance number 22-57 is to amend chapter 106 traffic and vehicles section 106-18a parking prohibited in specific places of the code of ordinances prohibit parking on meadow drive and barker avenue on school days is there a motion to adopt this ordinance so moved. thank you alderman snoika is there a second second so, thank you alderman McHale, for the second is there any discussion on this ordinance okay seeing none the question is shall the ordinance be adopted Will the clerk please call the roll? McHale. Yes. O'Brien. Yes. Bassesi. Yes. Reyes. Yes. Sonoika. Yes. Five in favor and none opposed. This ordinance is adopted. This brings us to line item C, ordinance number 22-58, to approve establishing and assessing a connection charge for phase one of the Brookview Sunset Sanitary Sewer Improvements. Is there a motion to adopt this ordinance? So moved. Thank you, Alderman Sonoika. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Alderman McHale, for the second. Is there any discussion on this item? Okay, seeing none, the question is, shall the ordinance be adopted? Will the clerk please call the roll? O'Brien. Yes. Bassesi. Yes. Reyes. Yes. Sonoika. Yes. McHale. Yes. With five in favor and none opposed, this ordinance is adopted. This brings us to the next item on the agenda, which are the ordinances in for first reading. This is line item D, ordinance number 23-00. It's to amend chapter 102, taxation of the code of ordinances in order to amend the restaurant tax incentive and retail home rule sales tax incentive. Is there a motion to consider this ordinance in for first reading? So, so moved. Thank you, Alderman O'Brien. Is there a second? Second. 
Thank you, Alderman Bassesi, for the second. Is there any discussion on this item? Okay, seeing none, the question is, shall the ordinance be moved forward for second reading? Will the clerk please call the roll? O'Brien. Yes. Bassesi. Yes. Reyes. Yes. Shanaika. Yes. Mikhail. Yes. With five in favor and none opposed, the ordinance will move forward for second reading. This will bring us along to new business and a motion to approve payment of bills on warrant for December 20th, 2022. Is there a motion to approve the warrant? So moved. Thank you, Alderman second. Reyes. Thank you, Alderman Sonoika, for the second. Uh, Alderman so Reyes. I'm sorry? Oh, so was it switched? I just heard. Yeah, Mikhail. Oh, Mikhail well, had first. Wow, <laughs> throwing voices here because it sounded like they both <laughs> came from over there. Yeah. It's all right. So Alderman Mikhail gave the first and Alderman Reyes gave the second. Yeah. All right. I should pick my eyes up and look around. <laughs> Is there any discussion on the motion to approve the bills on warrant? Okay, seeing none, then I'll ask the clerk to call roll, asking that the question is, shall the warrant be approved? Bassesi. Yes. Reyes. Yes. Shunoika. Yes. Mikhail. Yes. O'Brien. Yes. With five in favor and none opposed, the warrant is approved. This brings us to the next section of our agenda, which are the consent resolutions. And this consists of 13 items. And those are items F through <coughs> R on the agenda here. Does any alderman wish to remove any items from the consent agenda for resolutions? Seeing none, the chair declares it in order for one motion to consider the 13 resolutions in a single motion without debate. Is there such a motion? So moved. Thank you, Alderman Mikhail. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Alderman O'Brien, for the second. Beginning with line item F, resolution number 22-R-113, to reappoint Rob Sabo as IPBC delegate representative and Lisa Norton as alternate representative. This resolution, if adopted, would update the delegate and alternate, ensuring that there are two eligible persons available to sign any necessary paperwork and provide information to the Intergovernmental Personnel Benefits Cooperative, IPBC for short. The IPBC acts as an administrative agency to receive, process, and pay medical and death benefit claims. Line item G, resolution number 22-R-114, to reappoint Rob Sabo as IMRF delegate representative and Lisa Norton as alternate representative. This resolution, if the council adopted it, would update the delegate and alternate to the Illinois Municipal Retirement Fund, known as IMRF. The IMRF is a multi-employer public pension fund that administers program of disability, retirement, and death benefits for employees of local government in Illinois. This reappointment is necessary to ensure that there are two eligible persons available to sign any necessary paperwork to provide information to this agency. Line item H, resolution number 22-R-115 is to reappoint Rob Sabo as Irma Delegate Representative and Lisa Norton as alternate. This resolution, if adopted, would update the delegate and alternate to the Intergovernmental Risk Management Agency, also known as IRMA, the city's liability insurance pool. IRMA is an organization of municipalities and special districts in northeastern Illinois, which have formed an association under the Illinois Intergovernmental Cooperation Statute to pool its risk management needs. This reappointment is necessary to ensure that there are two eligible persons available to sign any necessary paperwork and provide information to this agency. Moving on to line item I, resolution number 22-R-116 to award a professional services contract to Baxter and Woodman Engineering for a utility rate study in a not to exceed amount of $30,294. This resolution, if the council chose to adopt it, would award a professional services contract to Baxter and Woodman to perform a utility study for the city, which includes water, sanitary sewer, and storm sewer. The result of this study will provide the city with a roadmap of needed capital projects over the next 10 years, along with preparing for any possible future developments. Line item J, which is resolution number 22-R-117, is to authorize the purchase of snow, ice, control, road, salt from Compass Minerals America, Inc for the winter 22-2023 season through Illinois CMS. This resolution, if adopted, would authorize the purchase of 15,000 tons of snow ice control salt for the winter season of 22-2023 at a cost of $122,265. Line item K, resolution number 22-R-118, is to approve city engineer services and compensation rates with Christopher B. Burke Engineering for a three-year contract beginning February 1st of 2023 to January 31st of 2026. 
This resolution, if the council adopted it, would extend the existing contract for general engineering services for a monthly retainer of $2,500 with Christopher B. Burke Engineering Limited for a three-year term. Line item L, resolution number 22-R-119 is to approve an agreement with Christopher B. Burke Engineering to perform a 2023 general minor drainage services in a not to exceed amount of $16,000. This resolution, if it were adopted, would allow Christopher B. Burke Engineering Limited to provide general drainage services for minor projects in the city. This contract will bind CBBEL to a series of responsibilities to the city, which is outlined on page 92 of this digital packet, with a not to exceed agreement of $16,000 on a single year term. And line item M, resolution number 22-R-120 is to approve the annual maintenance agreement with Tyler Technologies for the city's ERP software. This resolution, if adopted, would provide the city staff direction to renew the annual support maintenance agreement with Tyler Technologies for an additional year. Tyler Technologies is the city's ERP system vendor. The ERP system consists of modules which, under the maintenance agreement, will allow the city continuity with eGov operations, patches for security vulnerabilities, and updated software licensing. Line item N, resolution number 22-R-121 is to approve the purchase of CrowdStrike cybersecurity software in an amount not to exceed $15,000. This resolution, if the council adopted it, would allow the city to change from Trend Micro Antivirus software and upgrade to CrowdStrike, an agent-based cloud-hosted software as a service to help deflect increasing cyber threats. Line item O, resolution number 22-R-122 is to authorize the purchase of nine replacement Microsoft Surface Pro tablets and keyboards for the City Council's members. This resolution, if adopted, will allow the purchase of nine Microsoft Surface Pro 8 tablets, keyboards, and a four-year warranty for a total cost of $11,466. Line item P, resolution number 22-R-123 is to award a contract for easement acquisition services, Sunset Drive, the Sunset Brookview mm -hmm. Sanitary, with Santa Cruz land acquisitions in a not to exceed amount of $25,200. This resolution, if adopted, would authorize the approval of a proposal from Santa Cruz land acquisitions in a not to exceed amount of $25,200 to provide services related to negotiating and securing easements from six properties along Sunset Drive identified in the red on page 120 of this digital packet. These properties are adjacent to the phase two construction project scheduled for 2023 of the Brookview Sunset Sanitary Sewer Project. Line item Q, resolution number 22-R-124 is to approve an intergovernmental agreement with the Village of Arlington Heights for the Wilkie Road Resurfacing and Multi-Use Path Project Phase Two Engineering Services. This resolution, if adopted, would authorize the approval of an intergovernmental agreement between the Village of Arlington Heights and the City of Rolling Meadows for the local share of the Phase Two design engineering costs as part of the federal funding guidelines for the improvement of Wilkie Road beginning from Algonquin Road to Northwest Highway. This improvement has also been identified in the City's Capital Improvement Plan for several years. And finally, line item R, resolution number 22-R-125 is to approve a curb appeal grant program to support property enhancements for commercial properties in the City of Rolling Meadows. And this resolution, if the Council adopted it, would move forward on the recommendation from the Economic Development Committee and approval of straw vote from the direction of the November 15th, 2022 Committee of the Whole discussion, enabling the Curb Appeal Grant Program, allowing reimbursement from the City to commercial businesses and property owners in the amount not to exceed $25,000, for costs incurred by the owners for outdoor seating and landscaping improvements. The question is, shall these 13 resolutions be adopted? Will the clerk please call the roll? Bissessi? Yes. Reyes? Yes. Sonoika? Yes. McHale? Yes. O'Brien? Yes. With five in favor and none opposed, these resolutions are adopted. This brings us to other business and reports. <coughs> don't have any appointments this evening, nor do I have any proclamations. The city clerk have anything to report? No, not tonight. Thank you. Then this will move us along to city staff reports, and we will defer our time to Manager Sabo to talk about the community items of interest. Thank you, Mayor Gill. Good evening, City Council. Save a life and consider giving blood on Thursday, December 22nd from 1 to 7 p.m. at City Hall. While a snowstorm is forecast for this date, there remains a significant need for blood donations in our area. Therefore, this blood drive Manager will proceed. Sabo, I'm sorry to, to pause you there, but I don't think the mic is on. 
and I don't know if that uh, seen would that affect the audio testing oh, I think no. we got it okay. yep we're good all right would you like me to start over from Please. the beginning yes. yeah. save a life and consider giving blood on Thursday December 22nd from 1 to 7 p.m. at City Hall 3600 Kirchhoff Road while the snowstorm is forecast for this date, there remains a significant need for blood donations in our area. Therefore, the blood drive will proceed this Thursday despite the inclement weather. Appointments are recommended and donors can register at www.vitalant.org or by calling 877-258-4825. City Hall and Public Works will be closed on Friday, December 23rd and Monday, December 26th in observance of the Christmas Eve and day and on Monday, January 2nd in observance of New Year's Day. Refuse and recycling will be collected on Friday, December 23rd and on Monday, December 26th. Residents are asked to please set out all refuse no later than 6 a.m. on those days for early pickup. With a winter storm forecast for Thursday into Friday of this week, trash and recycling collections on Friday will likely run slower than usual due to weather impacts on trash collections. We kindly ask residents to please be patient as we work through the winter weather conditions on this Friday. Lastly, the Rolling Meadows Fire Department Keep the Wreath Red displays are currently displayed at both fire stations. The Keep the Wreath Red program is a public awareness initiative that encourages residents to protect their families and property by preventing fires caused by seasonal decorations. The wreaths hanging at the stations begin the holiday season illuminating with red bulbs, and I'm pretty sure they're still red, which is great news. Any fire in Rolling Meadows caused by holiday decorations will be represented by a white bulb. Gladly, as I mentioned to date, our wreaths have remained red. For more information on holiday fire safety, please call the fire department at 847-397-3352. And on behalf of the entire city staff, we'd like to wish everyone a happy and safe holidays. Thank you. Thank you, Manager Seville. Appreciate the community items of interest being mentioned. And looking at the second item for November's financial report, uh, the financials are in the packet. And if any member of the city council has any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to direct them to Finance Director Talkington. Uh, moving on to the third item here, looks like we'll talk about the draft agenda for the beginning of the new year on January 10th for the City Council meeting. Manager Sabo? Thank you, Mayor. The draft agenda is included in the agenda packet. The agenda right now is fairly light. Um, it will be posted in accordance with the Open Meetings Act prior to the meeting date. A couple items of note from the agenda. There, we have a placeholder for a continued discussion of uh, tobacco, vape, and CBD shops and the regulation of those facilities pending uh, uh, the case being <coughs> referred back to the council from the PZC. Uh, in addition to that, we have the second reading of the item, the ordinance that was approved this evening on first reading. And lastly, we have uh, the first reading of a comprehensive codification amendments proposed, which is to update our city code based on a code review and our, our city attorney's review as well. That's all for this time. Thank you. Thank you, Manager Sabo. Uh, that'll conclude the city staff reports and reports and bring us to matters that are not on this evening's agenda. Are there any matters not on this evening's agenda? If not, then I would like to entertain a motion to go into closed session under Section 2C1 of the Open Meetings Act regarding personnel. Do I have that motion? So moved. Thank you, Alderman Sonoika. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Alderman O'Brien. Is there any discussion on entering into closed session? If not, then uh, I will ask the clerk to call roll. Reyes. Here. Or yes. I'm sorry. Sonoika. Yes. Mikhail. Yes. O'Brien. Yes. Bessessi. Yes. With five in favor and none opposed, we will now enter into closed session. Uh, please be advised we don't anticipate taking any further action upon returning to open session. So with that, have yourselves a wonderful evening and safe and happy holidays.